Okay, so today I wanted to go over the Patagonia men's down sweater jacket. Overall, I really like it. It's pretty good. I have a North Face 500 fill down jacket as well, but I like this one a lot better. And I'm going to go through and tell you why exactly I like this one. Um, overall, it's it was a tough decision between this and the Nano Puff. And I decided to go with this because after reading a couple of reviews, it says that this one was a lot warmer and I'm an urban commuter. So it just made sense. I'm sitting for long periods of time. It gets cold, uh, nano puff, not so warm. And I'll go through and talk a little bit about this. So the reason I like this jacket, um, besides the deep pockets where I can store a lot of things, it has two pockets in the two pockets in the front, and then it has an interior pocket. If the, the it feels really great. It doesn't feel like it's a cheap jacket. It feels like what you would expect back from Patagonia. So. This is the inside pocket right here. And what I really like about this is that this jacket's also packable. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and we're gonna pack this jacket. And this is perfect because if you don't wanna wear the jacket anymore, you can just pack it. Uh, I usually just put it in my bag. It's better than carrying a jacket around all day. If you're commuting, if you're hiking, if you're doing a whole bunch of stuff, it's pretty good. Let's go and it just easily goes into here. It actually slides in pretty smoothly. So there we go. Now you have a fully packed jacket. And all you have to do is zip it. Then you're fine. You're carrying this around. You throw it in your bag, you'll be fine. It's really great if you're commuting, if you're hiking, the jacket's really warm. Uh, it's 800 fill down, it's windproof, it has a durable water repellent on it. Uh, it's not waterproof. I would, if it was raining, I would put a shell over it, uh, keep me warm and keep me dry. And we can go over some of the things that are on the site too. So let me just bring that up. So here we are, we're on the Patagonia site. Uh, this is the men's down sweater jacket. It has 441 reviews, pretty good. I got the Balkan blue one. I got it for around 114, it was like around 120 with tax. Uh, right now they have only extra extra large, but they do still carry the black, the gray, if you don't want a colorway that's so loud. And these ones I feel like are always at full price. These are, this is the jacket on the model, showing some of the trims, showing that you could pack it, which is a really nice feature. Draw the uh, draw cords on the hem. It's perfect for a windy day. It's lightweight, you carry around, 800 fill down. And for me, it was night and day going from 550 to 800. Um, I know there's a weight ratio, I believe, for the, down. I'm not entirely sure. I just know that this jacket is really warm compared to my North Face one that I'm wearing. Um, bit different jackets for different conditions. Um, one of the things that I do like about uh, Patagonia is that they're doing um, they're doing down in a responsible way. If I was to get down from anyone, it would probably be from them and North Face, because I know they're going this route too. They don't live pluck or they don't force feed their the animals. And it says so right here too. The size, the fit, the material. Overall, it's a pretty good jacket. If you're deciding between this and the Nano Puff, I would say get this. If, you're, if you run cold and you want to be a little bit warmer, 
the Nano Puff had really great reviews, but what really won me over is from all the reviews I was reading, this one's a lot warmer. And it, today it was a little bit windy in the 70s, I believe, and I just had this jacket open and I was fine. Um, but if I, as soon as I zipped it up, I got really warm. So you decide, you could always return this. Overall, really great jacket. Uh, go try it, go buy it if you want, try it out. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think.